Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a game called Pathfinder Gallows Spire Survivors. This game was originally released on September 14th, 2023. Um, completely passed me by, which is why I'm checking it out now instead of back in 2023. <laughs> uh, it's developed and published by BKOM Studios, and its regular price is $8.99 Canadian or regional equivalent. This is a new roguelite survivor game set in the beloved fantasy world of Pathfinder, which is like the D&D equivalent, like the kind of better D&D version, I guess, depending on who you ask. Maybe that's controversial. <laughs> Enter Galluspire, Pathfinder's legendary Tower of Darkness, alongside your fearless companion. Slay hordes of enemies, upgrade your arsenal, and overcome deadly bosses to seal away the ancient king of undeath. It's a, a bullet heaven game, vampire survivors like. Uh, let's, let's just check it out. I haven't actually played it yet, but it does say continue, so that's interesting. <laughs> Select my main character. A wizard, a rogue, or a fighter. Well, my my very first, I have actually played Pathfinder. I haven't played like proper D and D, uh, but I've played Pathfinder 3.5 or whatever it was. And my first Pathfinder character was a wizard, an old man called Eldrick Longstaff, and he was great and he was a lot of fun. So yeah, of course I'll play a wizard. But I also have to choose which companion I want. Do I want a fighter or a rogue? As a wizard, I probably want a fighter uh, to assist me, right? That sounds pretty good. I can't I can't change anything yet. I'm on adventure difficulty, and I can only choose the uh, crypt. I can turn hyper mode on if I want, but I can't change any of these. So uh, let's start. Here's how to play. Uh, it's vampire survivors. I think we should be okay. Okay, so I get to choose an attack right away. Force barrage, howling blizzard, sudden bolt, or ice storm. Uh, what do I want to go with? I think Force Barrage sounds good, like, they'll they'll come out of me. Uh, the other ones just sound like they'll be kind of random where they'll spawn. So let's do Force Barrage. And my companion... Look at all his epic ones. We want him to have a crossbow, a rapier. We want him to be close range. So let's give him a great axe. Okay, here we go. I uh, got an achievement for that, actually. So yeah, we, we auto-attack, we, we just have to move around. I, I like the art style, the art style is very, um, like quite stylized. Ow. Did not mean to take that damage. <gasps> we got rares! So I could upgrade my force barrage. Uh, I've got four attack slots and six passive slots. Pull to the lightning, shoots down from a stormy cloud to strike the enemies beneath. Pocket storm of hail and ice at a random location on the screen. Interesting. Let's go for the sudden bolt. What? Oh, that's... I, I picked up the, the fire breathing thing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very stylized. <gasps> Leveled up again. Chain lightning. Flame vortex or freeze time. Flame vortex sounds fun. The fiery vortex forms next to the caster before moving away in an erratic pattern, sure. And uh, we're also picking up potions. If you look in the bottom left, we've got our potion... <laughs> I have no time to talk about the game because we're leveling up so fast. <laughs> we got epics though. Um, but yeah, we have a potion belt in the bottom left where we can use our potions. So I have to remember that. Chain lightning. Lucky. 71% increased chance to find chests. Goodness. I mean, falling star sounds cool, doesn't it? I know I didn't want to do random, but I want falling star. It sounds very cool. Was that my flame vortex? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> my goodness. And I'm guessing my companion probably doesn't level up, because I've hit level 5 now and he hasn't done anything. <laughs> Ooh, regenerate. I don't know if I'm regenerating anything, but we'll take that. Yeah, you can see it going up a little bit. I don't know what my potions do, unfortunately. Um... Now I can see that. Yeah, I can't see what my potions do. This is pretty cool so far. It's uh, it's sitting at mixed reviews on Steam. Um, and I have no idea why so far. Sudden Bolt. We can upgrade our attack with an epic now. We can upgrade this one. Let's upgrade this one with epic. I hope those are my meteors. It, uh, it does look a little bit like... Oh. Like, uh, Soulstone Survivors a bit. Your companion won't level up from collecting essences, that's kind of what I thought. 
So I gotta follow the XP markers. I can see one over on the left. Level up your companion promptly or risk being underpowered. Okay, I was going to that chest. Uh, but I think I will now beeline towards this XP thing. Also, I just noticed uh, my cooldowns in the bottom left. That's really cool. I think those, those are great, actually. It's a very small detail, but it's very satisfying to see them uh, changing like that. Should I use a potion? I'm, I'm pressing Y. I've used a potion. I think it was potentially a speed potion. Rare. What do we want? Freeze time. Increase the duration to 4.6 seconds and reduces cooldown. I don't really understand what that's doing. <laughs> Uh, let's upgrade Flame Vortex. Ow. Uh, we have to sit- Oh my god, there's a spooky man over there. But we leveled up our companion! Armor. Ooh, he could throw a chakram? Uh, let's do that. Let's try that. Okay, now we're gonna have to fight this scary man. I mean, I'm guessing my- my red potion is health. So you have as many chests as you can across the map? Yes, I will do that. Uh, we don't need health yet. Let's try B. B is a shield potion. But does it change? I don't know. Uh, we probably want some more armor here. <gasps> I leveled up twice. Hold the crown. <gasps> Legendary. Oh, I don't know what's the... I mean, they all sound good. Flame Vortex is pretty flippin' cool. <laughs> I like that. That's quite cool. So you can, uh, oh god. You can, uh, like, choose to, to save all your, we need some speed here. Choose to save all your, like, legendary power-ups for when you've got, uh, a, a, an attack to choose from. So, like, if I wanted to, I could just pick, like, a passive with the rare ones. That's, that's quite cool. Let's just grab luck, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Well, we've almost killed this fella. Let's sit in here and grab this chest. He moves so fast! Buy the statues for permanent bonus cards. Okay. I got caught on the chest there. That was very awkward. <gasps> we did a dice roll. 16! That's fun. <laughs> Claim your loot. Gold coins, force barrage, sudden bolt. Okay. And he got some stuff. Excellent. I'm dying. Health potion. That was it. <laughs> How's this man still alive? My controller vibrates when I uh, take damage, which I really like, because sometimes in these games it's uh, very difficult to tell if you're being attacked. There's a potion over there. <gasps> we killed him. Now we just have to not die. And we got another chest. Here's our dice roll. There's an option in the menu to always skip the dice roll if you want, but I thought it would be fun to leave it on right now. It is fun. How have I only survived two and a half minutes? Has most of my time been spent in menus? <laughs> Maybe it has. I've been recording for ten minutes. <gasps> Legendary. What do we want? Uh, falling star. Die, everyone. This is pretty sweet. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> An epic. Let's take the time freeze one. They really want me to have it. There's XP up here. There's a chest off to the left. How do we clear a floor? Clear a floor, kill elites. What should we get for him here? Oh, it's hammer. Let's get him some armor. Let's get me some. I'm not really, I'm not using rerolls at all. So I guess these are rares, right? So if I re-roll these, are they always going to be rare? No, they've become epic. That is quite good. <laughs> uh, let's get some more health. Although I am back at full health now. I'm doing quite well. Oh, I can dodge. I keep forgetting. Oh, and left trigger is my time freeze thing. Okay, okay. I think I'm near a chest over here. Already getting a little bit difficult to tell what's going on. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is sweet. <laughs> dice roll. Dice roll. Here we go. 14. Great. That's some stuff we got. Okay, let's go to the XP. We need it. Uh, let's do a haste potion. Look at me go. 
I think it's a haste potion. I don't fully know. I love that we get a little companion as well. That's that's very cool. And it does have multiplayer. Uh, it's got co-op. So uh, I think it's got like remote play as well. So uh, like theoretically, I could connect a second controller and somebody like locally could play it, or I could just like stream it to someone and they could also play. Very cool. This is me, right? I don't want commons. <laughs> Uncommon. Sure. Flame Vortex. Some XP here. Yes. <gasps> flail. That sounds cool. Give him a flail. I'm going to assume he's flailing. Uh, I cannot possibly keep an eye on it. <laughs> There is a ton going on, and I level up so quickly. Reroll the commons. That's what we use the rerolls for. Definitely. Uh, ooh. Ten extra rerolls. That's probably a better investment, right? I'm now up to twelve. There's a chest up here. Oh, okay. I see in the top right. We only need to slay, like, twenty more enemies, and we're presumably done the floor. There we go. We'll be teleported. <gasps> My chest. We've got 20 seconds. I might be able to run over to that, uh... The XP thing over there. We got rares. Excellent. That looks good. Go, go, go. I think we've probably got time to get there. 20 seconds, no problem. Just gotta keep using this on cooldown. <laughs> no, we're not gonna make it. It's really close as well. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, second floor. We did it. There you go, there's, there's a breakdown of the UI there. But uh, it's it's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. A crypt floor two. We gotta kill more elites. Have any potion active for 210 seconds. Now B is the shield, which is quite useful. Oh my god, some of them are doing range now. That's very scary, there's more enemies, or different enemies up here. We have to kill 1,200 enemies to get out of this floor. There's a chest to aim towards down here. Teleport. Some XP just here, what's closer? We're going for the XP. We are... I should do the time freeze thing, right? Time freeze! Well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, what can he get? An epic, a lance, a longsword. Longsword. I get that treasure. What do I get? A rare. Rare is okay, I guess. I'm guessing you can't actually, like, max these upgrades out, so it doesn't really matter what you take. I feel like my flame vortex is just the best thing I've got. So let's keep that going. <gasps> There's a lot of them here. Was he in the lead? Nope. We still have to kill. 60 more at least. Oh. Heal. Yeah, back to full health from that. Here we go. Freeze time. Oh, I can't freeze time. It's on cooldown. It's fine. We didn't need it. For the best. It was just a common chest. We got a 12. There's cards over on the left. Great. Off we go. Off we zoom. I think it probably told me what the cards are. Oh, there's a statue, right? You upgrade or something. Uh, reroll. 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 Please. Haha! -ha. <laughs> Legendary! What do we want? Flame Vortex. Of course it's Flame Vortex. Okay, now we're getting the statue. What does it do? A card found. Well, we found a card, is what it do. <laughs> Uh, I do not remember what the cards are for. Oh god, okay, we're gonna shield here. <gasps> Give me this XP. He gets a rare. Let's just level up his great axe. Sure. See, I think that the aim is just kind of to, like, bounce back and forth between... Ow. This is taking forever to open. I freeze time. Uh, bounce back and forth between like these little icons on the HUD. This is going to be a really good one, right? It is legendary. 
Oh, please be a good roll. 12. That's pretty cool. A legendary chest. Okay, so that's... That, I like that. Uh, you know, the rarity of the chest affects how quickly it opens. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, I could have got me more rerolls there. Shit. It's fine. We're probably okay. Um... I really need healing potions. <laughs> oh, there's a big spooky boy. That's probably another elite. Uh, let's try the potion finder one. And I will run away from him. I will freeze time. Oh, it's still on cooldown. I thought it was done. Well, we found a card. I died. Darn it. That was only 7 minutes 45. Um... But yeah, it obviously stops that timer when you're picking your, your upgrades and stuff. Uh, okay. So if we go back to the menu now. We did a quest, so we claim that. We get some experience and gold. So we do keep these going at all times, which is quite cool. Potions. Oh, we learn more potions. I've got a lot of money. Interesting. Ah, uh, here we go. Now we can upgrade characters as well. What can I... Can I? Yes, this guy here. I've got four of these tokens. Maybe those were from the cards. It's possible. So I could like spec into like cold mastery, electricity mastery, fire mastery. I'm surprised my, my wizard's only level one. Maybe I was supposed to level him up here? Oh. No, he was just almost there. Oh, got a different skin. That's cool. Oh, so I can add points to his attributes as well. I add points to intelligence. And a little bit of health. There we go! Oh, I can rename him if I want. So I'm just taking a look through the, the Steam reviews now, and there's only like a couple of negative ones showing up. Uh, most of the ones like at the bottom of the page um, are positive. Uh, one of the positive ones says, despite early negative reviews, this game is now patched and a blast. Uh, I am playing a pretty late version. Um, it's in early access. But, like, it started early, early access in September 2023, so it's improved for six months. So I'm guessing some of the older reviews are uh, from quite early. Um, and yeah, I, I think probably the, the mixed reviews are kind of unfair right now. Um, because this seems pretty good. This seems solid. Uh, one of the negative reviews says it's just another Survivor's game with nothing to make it stand out on the surface. Um, and I don't think that's true. Um, there's like, a lot of them do fantasy, um, settings, I guess. But this is the only one specifically with like, a Dungeons and Dragons Pathfinder tie-in. Um, you know, just kind of a, a basic version of it. But you've got the dice rolls, you've got your character sheets to improve your stats and stuff. It's got multiplayer, which I think does definitely make it stand out from the other games. Anyway, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Um, still in early access as of the time we're recording, but presumably getting close to release now. They've got a, a roadmap on the store page, and it's got like 16 things in the completed part and two things left in the to-do part, so probably not long left in, in early access. That was a look at Pathfinder Gallo Spire Survivors. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.